Chase Smiley's versus A. A. Brown Smile. <laughs> so I'm convinced that nobody gives a better introduction than Tatiana. <laughs> hey smileys, it's AI and I'm back with another Nailed It video, but this time I'm showing you how to get a salon manicure anytime even if you're not that great at polishing your own nails. Watch. And it only takes a few minutes. So thank you for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, welcome smiley. Stick around for a while and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Mwah. So first things first is nail prep. It's just what it sounds like, preparing the nails for whatever treatment you are applying. To prep, I like to remove any polish first. In this case, it's the color I applied in the last nailed it video, Urban by Revline. Till next time, Urban. Sometimes I naturally whiten and clean my nails with a handmade soak, but this step isn't necessary each time. You can see that in my first nailed it video. I trim my nails if needed, file them, clean underneath my nails with an orange stick, gently push back my cuticles, and then I get to buffing. Finally, I wrap up my nail prep with some cuticle oil and then give them a good scrub with a nail brush before moving on to my polish or any treatment. Okay, so I realize this may be cheating, but I'm taking a shortcut on the nail polish today and using these Sally Hansen Salon Effect nail polish strips instead. These kits come with 16 strips and many designs, so you may have trouble deciding. It also includes the tools you'll need for the job and instructions you probably won't need after watching this video. Basically, it's two steps. Peel and apply, you're done. There's no dry time, so after that, you're ready to go. And they last up to 10 days. When you're ready to remove them, just use a little bit of nail polish and it comes off just like regular nail polish. Because it is, it's real nail polish. So here I'm choosing the best fitting strip for each nail and I'm gonna put these aside. This process takes a few minutes because you wanna make sure the strip will fit each nail properly. So after we wrap it up there, we're gonna remove the plastic backing and place the strip evenly across your cuticle and then press firmly to apply. And bam, you're done. You use the file to remove any excess polish off the strip and you can use the file that's provided or one of your own, of course, it doesn't really matter. They'll both work fine. And you just repeat these steps for each nail until you're all done. Just like I'm doing here. If you end up having any mistakes, it's really easy to fix. You can use one of the extra nail strips that you do not use. Rip or cut a little piece off of that to replace any trim or any pieces that break off the ones that you actually apply to your nails. Like I'm doing here. So this one chipped on the corner. Um, she's doing her nails. I'm gonna about to say it. Her nail color is red mm -hmm. and black and red. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> Can I just say that I don't know what I would do without my helper Tatiana. She's been coaching me through this entire process, smileys. But as you can see, I'm almost done here. It doesn't take much time at all. About 10 minutes to be exact. A top coat isn't needed, but I like to think that it helps to seal in the strip a little bit more. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, I'm not sure. I'm using the Sally Hansen 7-in-1 nail treatment once more because I cannot get enough of it. Finally, a few final touch-ups and there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time, smileys. Love you. Mwah. Nails um well, black and red already said that mm -hmm. and she's putting um on 
this outer um, nail thing. It's like a little wrapper, mm -hmm. and it looks like nail polish, but it's not nail polish. Yeah. So you can see, I'm actually just gonna about to put on some more. 